Namaste everybody, welcome to Yoga Candy. My name's Candice and today I have a little bit of a creative flow for people that are creative. So this class was a request by one of you. It was, one of you said, please do um, yoga for musicians. And I thought, what a better way to actually just include everybody who is creative and that does anything that requires using the hands and looking down a lot. Um, I know that we build up tension in the shoulders and in the backs of the shoulders as well. Also from hunching, from the neck. So I thought this, cl this class will be great for artists, carpenters, you name it, just anybody who likes to do something creative. Now, I love doing art myself. In fact, if you guys want to see my art, it's just for fun generally. Um, you can just look for me on Instagram. It's, it's Candace Austin Art. Um, I think that's what it's called. Yes, I'll leave the link below. And yeah, so I find just sitting there, I can sit there for hours and draw. But by the end of it, I know that I need to do some yoga and I've got to stretch out the shoulders, the neck, open my heart. So that's what we're going to be doing today. It'll also be a really good just general morning flow for anybody who just wants to stretch out the body in all those really delicious places. So I hope you guys enjoy today's class. It's going to be an all levels class. Um, so just make sure you have a yoga block handy. If you don't have one, it's okay. You can use a couple of thick books or you can even just use a really nice firm cushion or something like that. There may be the odd pose that this will come in handy for you. So let's begin. Starting off on our hands and knees in tabletop. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Rotate your fingertips so they're facing your knees and your thumbs are on the outside edges of your hands. So because we use our hands a lot, we're just going to find some gentle circles here, just nice and gentle. Hug your belly button back towards your spine and keep your breath nice and deep throughout today's class in and out of the nostrils if possible. You can take your circles as big as you like or as small as you like. Just make sure there's no extreme pain. If there is, you can even just be still as long as you're feeling a slight stretch down the backs of the arms. And now rotate in the opposite direction. Take it nice and slow and be very mindful about how your body's feeling here. Keep your neck and your tailbone a nice one line. And keep hugging that core back to your spine. When you're ready, just send your tailbone slightly backwards so you're getting a stretch down the backs of the arms here, all the way down to the fingertips. You might want to put a little micro bend into the elbow so you're getting a little deeper. And then roll back nice and slowly onto the heels, tuck the toes. Give your hands a little roll and a little shake out. And then we're going to do it the opposite way. So we're going to take the tops of the hands down to the mat, fingertips facing the knees and your thumbs on the insides of the hands this time. Just find a little rocking motion, stretching the tops of the hands. Nice and gentle, hug your core back. Spread your fingertips nice and wide and keep your fingers nice and straight. Don't bend them. Push them into the ground. So you're trying to push your nails into the mat. And then become still. Just finding a stretch here. Remember, it shouldn't be too painful just to stretch. You might want to slowly, slowly rock from side to side. You're not really putting any pressure onto the hands. It's quite gentle, you're almost slightly hovering. And then come on up, giving the hands a little roll. They may feel a little achy after that stretch because you're counteracting everything that you're doing. And then just give them a little stretch, however you want, interlace the fingers push them apart and now tuck your core back towards your spine drop your head down and arching the back extend the arms out long interlacing the fingertips 
pushing the inner palms away from you. You'll feel a stretch through the shoulders and maybe even the center of the spine. Breathe into this. Nice deep breaths. Keep your shoulders away from your ears so you're almost dropping your shoulders down. Now find some circles starting to make big circles with the back. Exhale as you come forward and inhale as your arms go up to the sky. You'll feel some side stretches as you do this. Rotate in the opposite direction, taking them nice and slow, but nice big circles. Taking just one more here, one more big circle. And look up to the sky, lift your chest, push your shoulder blades back. <sighs> Releasing the hands. Untuck the feet so you're just sitting on the tops of the, of the feet now. Extend through your arms, extend through your right arm, keep it nice and straight, taking the fingertips down to the floor. Drop your head over towards this left shoulder. And then very slowly, keeping your head where it is, engage the hand, pointing the fingertips to the sky, start to lift the hand in line with your shoulder and just hold it there. One more breath. And then rolling the head to the other side, dropping it down towards the right. Extend through the left hand, fingertips to the ground, lock your elbow. And again, engage your arm, sorry, your hand, and point those fingertips to the sky so you're locking your hand, spreading your fingers. Start to lift your arms slowly in line with your shoulder. Your hand in line with your shoulder. One more breath. Release and just roll the head again from side to side. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. And back into tabletop, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Let's take three cat cows. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, arch the spine, tuck the tailbone and the chin. Two more, inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, arch. One more, inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, arch. Into a neutral spine, lift your right leg. Lift your, right, your left arm, so opposite arm to leg. Take a grip of the outside edge of that foot and kick up into that arm. Kick as high as you can. Don't worry if you lose balance, just come back in. Keep kicking and you'll feel that stretch in the left shoulder, it feels absolutely wonderful. And at the same time, hug your core back to your spine. So we're working our muscles at the same time as we're stretching. <sighs> Release, doing the same on the other side. Extend through the left leg and then extend the right arm, taking a grip of the outside edge of that left foot. Kick up into the sky into that right hand. Hug your belly button back and breathe deep. Concentrate, look at something that's not moving. 
look directly down or you can look forwards whatever feels better on your neck and slowly release back into your neutral tabletop extend through the arms take your forehead down to the ground this is our puppy pose you want your hips to still be stacked with your knees keep the elbows off of the ground and hug your belly button back you may want to use your block here or your prop of some sort and rest your head onto your prop but wherever you are let's just take three deep breaths in our puppy pose And slowly roll forwards, vertebrae by vertebrae, bringing your hip bones down to the ground, taking a cobra pose. You can hover off of the ground, keeping your elbows off. If this is too deep, come into sphinx pose. Just taking your elbows down to the floor, forearms are flat on the ground, stacking your elbows in line with your shoulders. But if you want to go a little deeper, you can come into a higher cobra. So wherever you are with your flexibility, stay in that pose just for another deep breath. Exhale down. Bend your legs. Take a grip of the inside edge of your feet. Keep your knees in line with your hips and kick up and back into your palms, lifting your chest and your thighs off of the ground into bow pose, squeezing the glutes, lifting and stretching through the chest, look forwards, take one more breath, <sighs> exhale down, let's push ourselves up and back into downward facing dog, hands are in line with shoulders, Legs are in line with your hips. Breathe deep here in your down dog. Externally rotate your shoulder. So you're trying to pull your shoulder blades apart, almost as if you're trying to get your armpits to look at each other. Slightly internally rotate your thighs. Press into that thumb and into that index finger. At the same time, press into your baby fingers and into the knife edges of your hands keeping your head and your tailbone in one nice long line look between the legs you can find some movement maybe you want to walk the legs bending and straightening don't worry if your heels are not touching the ground with time this may become accessible to you Just taking a couple more deep breaths here in our down dog. Look forwards, lift your right leg, draw it to your chest and hold it here in a plank. Just hold it for one breath. Then step on the outside edge of your right hand as best you can. Don't worry if it takes a few goes to get there. Now we're in our lizard pose. So our right foot is the outside edge of our right hand. You can just stay here. It's almost like a runner's, a runner's lunge. And just maybe bounce your hips up and down. You may need your block. Maybe your hips are not open enough. You can lift yourself up onto your block like this or onto your books, whatever you've got. Just finding a bouncing motion, stretching out that psoas muscle here on the left side. This muscle gets very tight when you're a creative, where you're just sitting quite a lot in a chair, maybe drawing, maybe sitting playing the piano or playing the guitar. Try to keep the knee of the front leg in line with the ankle. Back leg, you're, you've got it quite engaged. 
So lift your knee up towards your thigh if that's possible, if that's accessible. Otherwise, slightly bend the knee. Just make sure you're feeling a little stretch. Now stop bouncing and just find, see if you can go a little deeper by sinking the hips down towards the floor. Don't worry if this isn't possible, just do your best. One more deep, one more deep breath. And then step this left foot on the outside edge of your left hand. And then sink your tailbone all the way down to the ground. This is our yogi squat, it's called, and it's opening up through the hips. You may need to sit on your prop, and that's okay. You can always sit on your block or on your books. Take your elbows to the inside edges of your knees, hands in prayer. Draw your shoulders away from your ears and push your knees apart using those elbows. You want your feet so that the heels are slightly inwards and the toes are pointing slightly out. Just taking one more deep breath here. Plant your hands and step back with the left, the right foot, sorry, step the right foot back so you're in your lizard pose on the right side this time. Keep that back leg engaged. Front leg, keep the knee about in line with the ankle. Remember, you can always come up onto your block. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to bounce here. Just keep bouncing, feeling through the stretch. Hug your core back towards your spine. Wherever you are, just keep feeling it out and breathing deep. Maybe become still and sink a little lower if that's possible. Now step your right foot forward and come into a wide-legged forward fold so your feet are as wide as your mat. Take a grip of each elbow. Bend your knees as much as you need to and become heavy. Rest your head down. Just become nice and heavy, folding forwards. Maybe it feels good to rock a little yes and a little no, just swaying from side to side, hug your belly button nice and tight backwards towards your spine. So just enjoy this hamstring stretch. Don't worry if you can't straighten the legs. Turn your toes slightly inwards and your heels slightly out. <sighs> Breathe deep. Now plant your right hand on the ground and inhale, lift your left hand to the sky. Look up, taking a twist through the spine. And then swap hands, right left hand down to the ground or you can place it on your block and inhale the right arm up to the sky, look up. And fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to your shins, look forward. And fold. Heel toe your feet in line with your hips and roll your spine vertebrae by vertebrae all the way into mountain pose. Inhaling your hands to the sky, look up. Ah, draw them down to the side body. Working through the legs, just find some bending through the legs. We're going to inhale, lift the left leg towards your chest 
and take a big step behind you into high lunge. So the back leg is nice and straight. The front leg is bent, 90 degree angle to the mat. Knee in line with the ankle. Inhale your hands up to the sky, look up or look forwards. Opening up, warrior two. Back foot is now 90 degree angle to the back of the mat. Front leg is 90 degree angle to the mat. Open up through the arms, look beyond the right fingertips. Inhale the hand to the sky and straighten both legs, feet facing forwards. So both feet are a 90 degree angle to both ends of the mat. Exhale, fold, use your block to place your hands on your block or you can always bend your knees as much as you need to. Interlace your hands behind your head, allow them to fall up and over your body. You can play around with bringing your palms close together or allowing them to fall open. Maybe you can even rotate the wrists so that your palms are facing away from you. Hug your belly button back towards your spine. Now take your hands to your hips and using the strength of your legs, lift yourself back up to standing. Going into warrior two on the other side, bend into the left leg. Hips are nice and open, open up through the arms. Look beyond the left fingertips. And rotate the back heel so it faces the sky. Hips are facing forwards, bending into the front knee into our high lunge. On the left side this time, hug your belly button back. And then frame the front foot. Step back into a plank. You can take an easy plank, bringing the knees to the ground. Hold your plank, a couple of deep breaths. Stay in a nice long line. Don't allow your bum to be too lifted or to be sinking. Keep a nice strong plank. And then send your tailbone up to the sky. Oh, for downward facing dog, look between the legs. Hug your belly button back. Hand shoulder distance, feet hip distance, internally rotate hips, externally rotate the arms. Now we're going to take pigeon pose, so inhale, lift the right leg and bring it forwards towards your chest, hold it just for a second. And then slowly place that knee behind your right wrist. Now the leg, the foot can be very close to your thigh or you can have it very open at a 90 degree angle to the top of the mat. That's very advanced. So the closer the heel is towards the thigh, the easier this hip opener will be. So this may not be very accessible. You may want to sit on your block placing your block underneath this right hip. Find some comfort, make sure there's no pain in the knee. If there's pain in the knee, then I recommend just choosing a different posture, maybe sitting down and just stretching through the legs, do something else. But otherwise, stay up on your fingertips. Feel through this hip here, feel through. Point the toes and then engage the toes. The toes are pointing to the top of the mat. 
So you're engaging your foot. This will keep the hip safe. We're hitting a few birds with one stone in this pose. We're stretching through the hip on the right side and we're also stretching the psoas muscle here on the left side. If it's possible, come down to your forearms and just breathe nice and deep. Give in to gravity and allow your hips to sink down to the ground. Try to keep both your hip bones facing forwards and facing down towards the mat. Taking one more deep breath here. Okay, plant your hands shoulder distance. Come up onto the back toes, lift the hips slightly and step back into a plank. Hold your plank a nice deep breath. Send your hips up and back to a downward facing dog. Hug your belly button back to the spine. You can always take a child's pose and just rest for a moment or stay in down dog for a couple more deep breaths. Now lift the left leg, look forwards and draw that knee towards your chest. Hold it just for a second, hovering it off the ground in your plank. Slowly bring the knee behind the left palm. Wiggle the back toes all the way back behind you. Coming down onto this left hip bone. Remember the closer this heel is to the thigh, the easier this hip opener will be and it won't be so intense. Ah, point the toes and then flex them up towards the top of the mat. Stay up on your fingertips. Remember you can always put a, a block underneath the hip. This time you're putting your block underneath your left hip if needed. Staying up tall, lifting your chest, shoulders away from your ears. Hug your shoulder blades back towards each other so that you're not collapsing into the chest here. You're opening it up. Feeling into that stretch. You can just stay up here if this is best for you. Or you can come down to your forearms. Giving into gravity, getting deeper into this hip stretch. One more deep breath, everybody. Push yourself back up. From here, if it's possible, just start to send your weight over towards this left hip so that you're lifting up through the right hip and coming into a bent knee position. Let's just wave our legs from side to side like wind, windshield wipers. We're going to do one more hip opener and then some more chest stretches. So sit up on your bum, taking the heels together, bringing them together and allowing the knees to fall open. This is not accessible to everybody. You may find that your knees are up here. That's okay. Just place your hands behind your back. You may want to put some cushions underneath both legs. That may be more comfortable. But if you're a little more open, just let them open up sit up tall. It's okay if you need to put your hands behind your back. Just make sure you're feeling a little stretch here in the inner groin through the hip flexors. There shouldn't be any pain at all. If it's possible and your body allows it, just find some movement. Maybe you can roll from side to side very gently. 
feeling through the side body at the same time, opening the hips and stretching through the side body. Hug your belly button back. Open your feet out like a book. And if you can, you can come forward a little bit. So just remember guys, there shouldn't be any sharp pain or anything like that. Just make sure that you're listening to your body here. You can always go as far forward as you like. Some people may have more open hips, just listen to your body. And then slowly make your way up. Draw your knees together. Now you want your feet in line with your hips, your hands a couple of inches away from your bum, but in line with your shoulders. We're gonna take a reverse tabletop. This is so good for anybody who has tension through the chest and the shoulders. We're gonna lift the hips up to the sky. So you're in like a reverse tabletop here. You can keep looking to the sky or just allow your head to fall back, lifting the hips so that they're in line with the chest. And try to keep your knees in line with your hips, so slightly squeeze the knees towards each other. Don't allow them to open up. Hug your belly button back and squeeze the glutes. Taking a couple of deep breaths here. Now slowly keep your neck where it is and drop your bum down towards your mat nice and slow. Then lastly lift your head up off of, the, off of your shoulders. Keep your hands where they are, straighten through the elbows and just find a little rocking motion from side to side. This will stretch the underside of the wrists and even through to the palms. So just finding a little movement here. Squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other behind you. And then come on off of the hands, giving the hands a little circle here. Hug your knees nice and tight towards each other and arch the spine. Bring your forehead down towards your knees so that you're pulling your shoulder blades apart. Hug your belly button back. Draw your shoulders away from your ears and just stay in this little fetal position just for a few deep breaths. your spine away from your legs as best you can so you're really arching and then inhale lift the chest come into a nice comfortable seated position that can be cross-legged or any position of your choice cross-legged is easiest you can always lift your hips up onto your prop take your hands we're going to do the same neck stretch just taking your right hand down towards the right side of the mat, drop the head towards the left shoulder. Close your eyes and just breathe here. Dropping the shoulders away from the ears. Then roll the neck towards the right side, bring the right hand to the feet and extend through the left hand. The elbow is nice and locked. Fingertips on the ground. Stretching through the trapezius. Oh, it feels, feels absolutely lovely. Allow the head to hang heavy. Shoulders draw back and down. and release back to center lastly let's find some neck rolls just from side to side releasing any tension
finding your way back to neutral. Sit up nice and tall, slightly hugging the belly button back. Guys, we're just gonna find one minute of total silence together. Try to join me, try not to miss this. Just feeling into the body. Let's take the tops of the hands onto the knees. Sit up tall, shoulders drop down, close the eyes. Just taking a mindful moment together, feeling that tingling sensation through the palms all the way to the fingertips. Just a very small meditation together, I'll guide you. Allow your forehead to relax, the space between your eyebrows become heavier and relax. Relaxing the eyelids all the way down through the cheeks into the jaw. Allow the jaw to hang heavy, no tension. Relaxing the tongue down through the neck into the shoulders. Relax your shoulders down. Feel them become heavier. Become aware of that weight of your hands against your knees. And dropping the elbows a little lower down towards the legs. Bringing our awareness through the chest, feeling the breath, breathing natural, feeling that rise and that fall of the chest as you inhale and as you exhale. Moving down through the belly as if that's a totally empty space. All the way through into the hip bones. Become aware of your sit bones, making a connection with the ground. All the way through the tops of the legs to your knees, allow them to hang heavier, to drop down to the mat. Through the shins to the feet, become aware of the warmth of your legs as they cradle the feet. all the way to the tips of the toes. Becoming aware of the body as one whole unit. Start to gently move the fingertips and the toes, keeping the eyes closed. Removing the hands from the knees, finding some circles of the wrists in one direction, eyes still closed. And then in the other direction, just circling the wrists. Inhale your hands to the sky, eyes still closed. Draw your hands together and then down towards your heart center in prayer, bow your head. Namaste everybody, you can open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this has opened up your body in all the right areas. If you're a creative or just somebody who is in need of a good chest opening and also opening of the hips because we sit way too much. This is just part of our culture nowadays. But I hope you guys have found some oh, relaxation in the body and just feel a little freer as well. If any of you have um, a creative Instagram, by the way, or anything like that, please let me know in the, in the comments below because I have my art um, Instagram and I'd absolutely love to check you out. I just love seeing people's creativity, whether that be singing, music, art, whatever it is, please do share it with me, guys. Um, or just at least just let me know in the comments what it is you love to do that is creative. And uh, if you guys would like more videos like this, do let me know. It was nice and gentle and I hope that it was accessible to your body. And as I say, I'll leave a, um, a little link to my art page for you guys so you can check it out. But if you want to find um, my yoga handles, then you can just look for Yoga Candy on Instagram or Facebook. The links are below. You can also sign up for my newsletter 
on there I have a free ebook that I've created for you guys which you may find really helpful so feel free to sign up for that the link is below as I say so guys do feel free to leave me comments share and like all these things just help me continue creating these videos for you guys so until next time I hope you all have a wonderful day namaste